Hiroki Ito would be an amazing signing for Manchester United and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly why that's the case. Now, if you already know who he is, feel free to jump into the video analysis segment by clicking on the appropriate timestamp underneath this video. Without any further ado, let's analyze. Okay, so let's start with a brief overview of Hiroki Ito as a player. So Hiroki Ito is a Japanese international. He's a left-sided centre-back, plays as a left-back uh, also, and plays for VFP Stuttgart in Germany, a team who I think didn't get the attention they deserve this season. The main talk in Germany has been about how Bayern Munich bottled the title, uh, Bayern Leverkusen's amazing campaign, uh, as well as Dortmund reaching the Champions League final. But Stuttgart had an amazing season. They were my personal favourites in Germany this season. I watched a lot of their games. I really love the kind of football they play. And one of the players who has inspired me the most is, of course, this guy right here, Hiroki Ito. So, of course, he's 25 years old. He can be described as a ball-playing defender. And, of course, his physical profile, he's still a big guy, you know, uh, 1 meter, 88 centimeters tall, 84 kilograms. He is definitely no pushover. And here I have included his um, heat map and compared, uh, compared it to uh, Lisandro Martinez's map. As you can see, both of them are quite similar in terms of the areas of the pitch that they occupy. Maybe Hiroki Ito is a little bit more advanced, mainly because he has played certain games as left back, whereas um, Lisandro Martinez has played as a center back every time that he's played for uh, Manchester United. But both of them are quite similar, especially this area right here, where both of them kind of like to step into midfield, which is actually a telltale sign that this player is a ball player, a ball playing defender. They like to have the ball at their feet and make things happen. His main strengths, I would say, are the fact that he plays a lot of progressive passes, his anticipation, his reading of the game is amazing and way beyond his years. And then, of course, his off-the-ball movement. With all of these, I'm going to show you in the video analysis in a minute. His main weakness, and this is a weakness with quotation marks actually because he doesn't have any glaring weaknesses really is the fact that sometimes he plays it too safe He's a little bit risk averse but later when we're gonna analyze uh, his footage we're gonna talk a little bit more about this and then you guys can make a judgment whether you think it's a weakness or whether it's an asset and you can let me know in the comment section below of course because this is Manchester United and we are talking about Manchester United potential target we have to talk about injuries this season has been really bad for us in terms of injuries but this is actually uh, his uh, injury history. And as you can see, uh, his main injury has been a muscle injury, which he had this season. Uh, that was actually an injury in a game against Frankfurt, I think. Uh, but it was also physical, a contact injury. So it's not an injury that is due uh, to uh, overworked muscles or to some uh, long-standing issues with his muscles or uh, some tissue. No, it's actually just a contact injury. Uh, it healed within 35 days. And as you can see, he only missed uh, five games for Stuttgart this season. In fact, between 2021 and 2024, which is three seasons, uh, he's only missed 10 games. For Stuttgart, as you can see here, only 10 games where he was not available uh, for selection. So that's actually a very good injury record. Of course, injuries are part of the game. Every player gets injured uh, sometime. But here with uh, Ito is that um, his injury profile shows that he's actually a uh, low-risk uh, solution. Anyway, so let's analyze him. Let's, let's see what actually he looks like on the pitch. Okay, so uh, the first thing here is that obviously he's a defender. And the first thing we care about when analyzing defenders is can they defend? Now here Ito, as you can see, is uh, running alongside uh, the attacker. He knows that the ball is coming here and he positions himself just right to be able to cut off that pass. He does again the same thing now against Dortmund. So uh, Adeyemi uh, goes uh, goes wide, you know, dribbles past the right back. The ball comes into the box and then Ito, who can see here, in a tussle with the center forward and then beautifully he can clear the ball. And he does it cleanly. He actually does not concede a lot of fouls. So he's actually a very good player when it comes to his ability to read the game. Here's another example of his anticipation as he's backtracking. Uh, Harry Kane, this was against Bayern Munich with a pass wide towards uh, Tills, I think. And then Ito anticipates it beautifully and then he keeps the momentum going. Beautiful feint and he keeps progressing the ball. Very good. Well assured, good anticipation. Not only that, but Stuttgart, one of their hallmarks of the way they play is that they play progressive football, attacking football. And to play that way, you have to press high up the field. But as the forwards press high up, the midfielders also have to follow them. Follow them and as a result, the uh, defensive line, 
the backline also has to follow. So your players have to be quite aggressive markers. And Ito does this very well. As you can see here, he starts behind the attacker. And then by the time the pass comes in, he already positions himself ahead. He knows how to anticipate situations like these. He can predict what the ball carrier is going to do. And he can predict the movement of the striker. And then he can cut it beautifully. Here's another example against Dortmund. Not only that, this was actually against Jaden Sancho. As you can see, he's in a tussle with Jaden Sancho. He was behind Jaden Sancho, he ended up uh, in front of him. Not only does he clear the ball, he actually keeps it. That's how Stuttgart were able to assert control over many of the games that they have played this season. By the way, Jaden Sancho was made to look like, you know, a schoolboy uh, in this game against Ito. But a beautiful defensive play from Ito. And not only that, he's not just smart in the way he can anticipate situations. He also has that defending at all cost attitude that Lisandro Martinez has. For example, in this situation against Moshan Gladbach, Stuttgart, by the way, won 4-0. And the main reason why they kept a clean sheet is because of this. Look, his first intervention, second interve intervention with this beautiful clearance that keeps it uh that keeps their uh their, their goals clean but beautiful beautiful defender now of course when you play a high defensive line there is a risk that your team is going to lose the ball and when your team loses the ball your defenders have to always be alert and they have to have high recovering speed and ito does have that for example here against dortmund counter for dortmund ball goes to uh Ademi, who is a speedster if he goes through on goal that's definitely going to be a goal but ito goes in beautiful clean tackle stuttgart keeps the ball and they keep <laughs> and and then next one this situation right here this was against bochum ito over here beautiful reading of the situation and then he goes in great acceleration remember he's a big guy but he's still fast and nimble and i like this you know he tackles with the heel because he wants to keep the ball in play it didn't work out but still it just shows you the kind of mindset that he has so what we get with ito is a player who is very good at defending because of his anticipation and his sense of positioning but also he can get dirty inside the box uh, the box he's not afraid of getting physical with the center backs he's not uh, afraid of defending at all costs and throwing his body uh, uh, his body around in order to block the ball um, and of course he's got very good uh, recovery speed and he can tackle okay but of course a modern defender especially someone who's playing um, as a left back as well needs to be a baller okay and that's what we're gonna look at right now so this is against Moshe Gladbach as you can see he look just the way he controls the ball <laughs> just, it shows you this guy is a playmaker and he's assessing his options so here Undav is gonna make a run into space and then quickly Ito gets that run and then he can execute the pass beautifully into space that has resulted in a shot for Stuttgart same thing here the question is when he is put under pressure how does he react here he is against Bochum now Bochum are very good at pressing and here literally they have checkmated Stuttgart as you can see none of the Stuttgart players are good options if this was Manchester United what would happen is that this player for us would ended up just clearing it into Rosie. So Bochum would have gotten a throw in and they would have kept the momentum going. But not with Ito. What he does instead is they go one and then two and then easy. Stuttgart can keep the ball. And this sequence has also resulted in a shot on goal for Stuttgart. Just because Ito is able to keep the ball under pressure. Now here... Uh, this was another sequence against Dortmund. As you can see, he really loves to backtrack a little bit, gives, give himself a little bit of space, control the ball, and then assess his option. Now we have to talk about one of his weaknesses, okay, which is that he likes to play it safe. Now, I've watched him quite often, okay, and he is definitely a player who sometimes try to play it safe, okay, but whenever he goes ahead with uh, whatever he intends to do L let's say for example a vertical pass which if you remember pep guardiola have talked about how lisandro martinez has caused them a lot of pr uh, trouble uh, in the fa cup final because of his vertical line breaking passes ito does not execute as many as lisandro martinez does but when he does it always amounts to something so i don't know is this a weakness is he playing it safe is, th is that a show th does that show his maturity his composure is that instructions from his manager? I don't know. But he doesn't do it often. But when he does it, it usually results in these kind of situations. For example, here against Dortmund, he's waiting for the right pass. He sees the pass and that's it. Dortmund are open because of that pass over there. Same thing. See how he backtracks, gives himself a little bit of space, puts some distance between him and uh, the opposition player. He gets the ball. And here, look. The easy pass is here to old Mitchellstad, the, uh, the left back. But no, he goes towards the long ball again into space. 
Here's another example. He gets the ball. I love how he puts his foot on the ball. That's such a good move. Like, aesthetically, it is pleasing. And then he goes in with this monster of a pass. Look at that. <laughs> That's a beautiful pre-assist. And then that was a beautiful goal for Stuttgart. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ito made. Ito made goal. Amazing. And then here, this is another example. This is actually an Ito assist. What I love about this, look how he's positioning himself further ahead. And then now he knows, okay, I can step into midfield. Remember when I showed you his heat map, he really likes to step into those midfield positions. And then now he's clear uh, running with the ball in a midfield position. But you see, again, he could have played it safely here. But no, he chose the hardest pass. But this hard pass actually has resulted in putting Guirassi through on goal into the central area and then Guirassi scored assist for Ito. Beautiful. Now, of course, Ito this season has played as a left back as well. So what does he look like whenever he plays as a number three, as a left back? Well, here, this player, by the way, spoiler alert, I'm definitely going to be making a video about him. It's going to be uploaded in the next few days. But here, Ito makes a beautiful run into space. This was against Freiburg. And then he goes into a very good situation where he can put in a cross. Now, I have to say something about Ito, okay? Admittedly, out of all the games that I have watched him play, uh, I don't see him trying to dribble. He does it whenever he's put under pressure, like the sequence that I showed you previously. But when he plays as a left back, you don't see him trying to take on defenders. But he doesn't need to do that because his off-the-ball movement is amazing. This sequence was a build-up sequence, but instead of positioning himself deep to be part of the build-up, he actually just went up like a winger. And then he ended up being in this situation where everybody was chasing him. And then look at this assist. First of all, amazing movement by Guirassi over here. But then Ito knew where Guirassi was going to end up. And then beautiful cross, beautiful goal for Stuttgart. It's just amazing. And this was against Bayern Munich. This goal is ridiculous. Uh, I, actually, it was not a goal. Sorry, guys. I misspoke. But he created a chance with a very ridiculous off the ball move. Look at this. He's marked by Till. And then look. He's just moving around, trying to shake his marker. Okay, you can mark me, you can stay with me, fine, up to you. And then, look, he makes a run right now. The Bayern uh, Munich players are totally oblivious to this. That's an underlap, and then that's it. He finds himself in this uh, situation right here. Cut back towards Guirassi, and then Guirassi, how did he miss that? I don't know. But anyway, Ito, what a gem of a player. All right, so Hiroki Ito, clearly a talented player. Not only that, I think that he's extremely underrated and also undervalued. This is a player you could get for 20 to 25 million pounds. Now, Manchester United this season, we are facing the fundamental economic problem. You know, uh, unlimited wants, limited resources. Okay, we have to strengthen in so many areas, but I don't think that we'll be able to get all the players we need this summer. And so players like Ito are a great way for us to solve two problematic positions with one player. He can act as cover for Lisandro Martinez. Remember, we look so much different, tactically speaking, with Lisandro Martinez than without him. So we need a player of a similar profile, and Ito certainly is. So he can act as cover for Lisandro Martinez in the centre-back position, as well as play in the left-back position. Okay? So, guys, I know that when it comes to transfer targets, everybody has something to say. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. First of all, what do you think about Ito? Is he an interesting player? Do you find him um, uh, uh, like a player that Manchester United could go for? But also, what other players would you like Manchester United to go for in the left center back position as well as the left back position? Please make sure that you leave your inputs in the comment section below. Until next time, cheers.